Streambed stability, sediment transport rates and flood levels can all be defined by the roughness of the stream channel. Particle morphology refers to the surface characteristics of sedimentary grains. Processes of weathering, erosion and transport all leave distinctive imprints on particles. Morphometrical analysis can therefore offer relevant information on sediment source origin, transport environments and sedimentation processes. Shape is a key factor in the study of transport. Sorting of sedimentary particles by size, shape and density is fundamental in the development of graded sediment beds in both space and time. Particle form affects the area exposed to forces of flow, such as drag forces, lift forces, and therefore particle entrainment, transport and deposition. Three types of characteristics may be defined and are usually investigated. Shape, roundness and texture. In the following video, someone takes us through a number of field techniques that she used in investigating stream stability. At each site, someone collected 50 rocks from the stream and carried out four different field techniques. Okay, so I've just collected some um, samples from the, the spring. What I'm going to do now is using a caliper, which is a measuring tool to measure um, class. I'm just going to grab a pebble. I'm going to measure the A, B and C axis. So that's A, which is the longest side. Push it together and that would be 54 millimetres. So it's not the end of the metal, it's where the zero lines up. As you can see, it's five centimetres, which is 50 millimetres, plus a four, one, two, three, four. So the A axis is 54. We move on to axis B, which is the width. As you can see there, that is 29. And lastly, moving on to C, which is the whole width of the last remainder axis, and that gives us 20. That's where the naught hits the 2. So overall, that makes A54, B29, and C20. The next step will be to classify the sphericity and the roundness of the pebble. So you've got the sphericity going on the Y axis and going along the X axis you have the roundness. So you've got to look what sort of picture does that rock look like or pebble. Um, I'd say that looks more like, we'll say, uh, about that one. So on the 0.7 roundness with a 0.3, if I just put it on next to it so you can see they look very very similar so that leaves the roundness as being 0 0.7 so you've got along the corridor 0 0.7 and up the stairs 0 0.3 the next step what i'm going to do with the same pebble is to um identify the color roundness using this chart so what i do is i identify the sharpest point and start measuring it up so I'll keep on going round until it fits. I'd say that fits about the seven. So if you look at from a plan view, if you go on as a plan, that corner shapes in quite well with the seven. So that has a colour roundness measurement of seven. This is a little sort of a table of the visual images for the determination of roundness for grains or class. Um, it's a modified from the Crumbie 1941 model. So again I've got the rock there, you've got to compare what one does it look like most. I'd say it's between the rounded and sub-rounded one. So if I identify more, you've got little bits here and there. So if I turn it around as you can see it will look quite similar to that. So that would be sub-rounded which has um, figures between 0.35 to 0.49 millimetres.